welcome to EC Electronics. In this video, we are going to prepare for GATE exam, that is GATE 2020. And we'll be seeing the questions from the signals and systems, which is one of the very core subjects of electronics. And there's a very good weightage of mark for the subject. And also, uh, we'll be doing the questions on this signals and systems in this video. And also want to inform you that we are doing videos on ISRO Scientist Electronics, ISRO Technical Assistant, RRB. And also, we are doing the videos on the core subjects like DSP, that is Digital Signal Processing and Network Analysis. First question for today's class. The signal X of T is described by X of T equal to 1 for minus 1 to T, then less than minus 1, that is minus 1 to 1, the signal is defined, else it is 0. Two of the angular frequencies at which the Fourier transform will become 0 is what? So this is a very basic question. You just have to find the Fourier transform of this uh, given signal and find the frequencies at which the signal value is 0 means equate the, uh, the signal term obtained by from the Fourier transform to 0 and find the frequency value. That is much or that is all you have to do. And the options given are option A pi 2 pi, option B 0 0.5 pi, 1.5 pi, option Z 0 pi, Option D, 2.2.5 pi. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to find the Fourier transform and equate the value to 0. Okay, how to find the uh, Fourier transform of X of T here? Yeah? That is, integral minus infinity to infinity, X of T into E raised to minus J omega T dt. The value of X of T is 1 and the value is only defined for minus 1 to 1. So, it is minus 1 to 1 and the value is 1, right? So, it is 1. So, what is the integral of 1 into e raised to minus d omega t dt? That is all e raised to minus d omega t dt is 1 by j omega into e raised to minus j omega t into the limits are minus 1 and the upper limit is 1. Okay. So, apply the limits to the exponential term. Then you will get 1 by j omega into e raised to uh, substitute the value of t as first 1 and then minus 1. So, e raised to minus j omega minus e raised to t if substituted as minus 1 then plus j omega, right? Now, what is the expression or expansion of e raised to minus j omega minus e raised to j omega? It is 1 by j omega into e raised to minus j omega is cos omega minus j sin omega minus of e raised to plus d omega is cos omega plus j sin omega right now this cos omega and cos omega will get cancelled minus j sin omega minus j sin omega will be minus 2 j sin omega right so the value here is minus 2 j sin omega so, this is your Fourier transform expression that is 1 by j omega into minus 2j sin omega. This j and j will get cancelled and if you equate this to 0, you will get sin omega equal to 0 and the values for which the sin omega equal to 0 is out of this. Which one is the answer? The correct answer is option A, pi and 2 pi. So, sin pi and sin 2 pi is equal to 0. The Fourier transform of a signal x of t equal to e raised to minus 4 mod t is. We have to find the Fourier transform of this uh, signal. The option is 8 by 16 plus omega square minus 8 by 16 minus omega square 4 by 16 plus omega square minus 4 by 16 plus omega square. So this is also very simple question. Just you have to find the Fourier transform. So, before uh, going to find the Fourier transform, just look at the sig signal. Here it is given, it is mod t, right? So, modless means it is having negative and positive sign. So, you can represent the x of t as x of t equal to e raised to minus 4 minus of t u of minus t. That is, here you are taking the negative value of t plus e raised to minus 4 t u of t. Okay. That is here we are taking the positive values of t. 
here we are taking the negative values of p so this is a simple expansion of your modulus so this u is a unit step function or the unity function so here this will be e raised to 4t into u of minus t plus e raised to minus 4t u of t okay this is your signal just take the fourier transform this is your x of t now the fourier transform of x of t equal to minus infinity to infinity this is your x of t that is e raised to minus 4 t u of minus t plus e raised to minus sorry here it is plus minus 4 t u of t into e raised to minus j omega t dt okay now expand this e raised to j omega t dt inside the brackets that is you can write this is minus infinity to infinity e raised to 4 t u of minus t into e raised to minus j omega t dt plus e raised to 4 minus 4 t u of t into e raised to minus j omega t dt okay now from these two terms take a that is from this exponential term and this exponential term take a minus is common so what you will get that is minus infinity to infinity e raised to minus of minus t i am going to take so it will be uh, j omega minus 4 into t right so if you take a negative from this term this will be positive so j omega if you take a minus from this term then it will be minus so j omega minus 4 t into u of minus t t t plus from these two terms e raised to minus t if you take it will be j omega plus 4 only into u of t t t okay now if you take the integral of this there is exponential term that is e raised to minus a t is 1 by a and u of minus t dt that is there is a unit step function and the value is u for u of minus t it is minus 1 and for u of plus t it is plus 1. So for this term the integral value is equal to 1 by 1 by j omega minus 4 that is your exponential term minus j omega minus 4 so this is a a term so 1 by a is j omega minus 1 by j omega minus 4 and for u of minus t it is minus 1 so minus 1 plus for this term it is 1 by here it is j omega plus 4 so j omega plus 4 and here it is u of plus t so it is a plus 1 and if you solve this minus j, j omega into j omega is minus omega square minus 4 into 4 is minus 16 by j omega plus 4 into minus plus j omega minus 4 so if you take the minus 2 inside the bracket it is minus j omega minus 4 so this j omega and j omega will get cancelled so the result is minus 8 by minus omega square minus 60 or if you take all the negatives then it is 8 by omega square plus 60 let's look at the option it is yeah option a that is 8 by 16 plus omega square or omega square plus 16 is your answer so the correct answer for this question is option a question we are going to discuss is this the input and the output of a continuous time system are x of t and y of t. Which of the following corresponds to a causal system? So there are a lot of options. There, are, there is four options are being given. Now we have to find which uh, expression satisfies a causality or a causal system's condition. So in order to answer this question, you should know what is a causal system. A system is said to be causal if the output y of t is dependent on the present input and only previous inputs 
not on the future inputs. Such a system is called a causal system. That is, if we are going to take y of 0 or say y of t0, okay, then y of t0 depends on only x of t where t is less than or equal to t0. That is, the t value should be less than or equal to up to t0, it's okay. But after t0, it is not depending in such a system is called like causal system. Okay, so we have to check which condition or which statement satisfies the causal t or the causal system. So in order to check that, what we will do is we will try to find y of 0 for each of this expression. And we will check whether which uh, option satisfies the, uh, the causal t. So, for this term, that is y of t equal to x of t plus x of t plus 4. I am going to take y of 0 here. y of 0 equal to x of 0 plus x of 0 plus 4. Okay, so here x of 0 and x of 0 plus 4 means x of 4. So, we are finding y of 0. And y of 0 is dependent on what all things? y of 0 and y of 4. y of 4 is y of 4 is greater than y of 0, right? Oh, sorry, 4 is greater than 0, right? So, that means the y of 0's output or the 0th output depends on the 4th input also. That is, it, it is depending on the future inputs also. So, is it satisfying causal t? No. So, this is a wrong option. Now, let's see what is your option b. y of t equal to t minus 4 into x of t plus 1. So, here y of 0 equal to t minus 4 means 0 minus 4 which is minus 4 into x of 0 plus 1. That is 0 plus 1 is 1. Here also 0, y of 0 is depending on x of 1. Here also the causal t is not satisfied. Let us check whether the option c is satisfying. Here y of t equal to t plus 4 into x of t minus 1. So, for this case, y of 0 equal to 0 plus 4 is 4. 4 into x of 0 minus 1. That is x of minus 1. So, this, this term or this expression is actually this expression of a causal system because y of 0 is depending only on x of minus 1. Minus 1 means lesser than 0, right? So, it is depending on the previous inputs, which is fine for a causal system. So, this is a correct option. Let us check the last option also. y of t equal to t plus 5 into x of t plus 5. So, y of 0 equal to t plus 5 means 5, that is 0 plus 5, into x of 0 plus 5 is again 5. So, x of 5. This is also not a causal system. Okay, so because... Here it is that the, uh, the y of 0 is depending on x of 5, which is a future input. So, which is not a causal t property or a causal system's nature. So, the correct answer for this question is, it is crystal clear that the answer is option C. So, C is your correct answer for the system or C is a causal system's expression. So, in this video, we have discussed the questions on signals and systems, which is very important uh, subject in the electronics and communication. So, which is very important and useful for your grade preparation. I really hope this video was useful for your gate preparation. And likewise, we'll be doing a series of videos for your gate exam 2020. We'll be discussing all the important questions from all the subjects. And I really hope that you found the video useful. If yes, please do share this video with all your friends and also family. And also please try to keep up the encouragement more. And also if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and, and subscribe to the channel for videos on ISRO scientist preparation, technical assistant, RRB exam preparation and gate exams. And also we are uh, discussing all the core subjects of electronics, mainly digital signal processing network analysis and digital electronics. There is a separate playlist created for digital signal processing English and Malayalam. And if you're interested in watching uh, either English videos and Malayalam videos, please do watch the separate playlist. And also thanks for watching and keep on watching.